We're getting the, the stove going, Rob. Uh, yeah, I just want to go over a bit of the uh, uh, stove, uh, uh, how to light it. We're lucky here. We got some dry uh, kindling, which is balsam, uh, really good kindling. Cedar would be fantastic, but obviously Tim cannot get cedar because he doesn't know what he's doing. But we also found some oak. Now, the oak, this is red oak, and it's dry. And how I know it's oak, it's reddish in color, but when you smell it, it smells like a, a, a whiskey barrel. And actually, that, that you have American oak in some of the whiskey barrels, and that gives it its flavor, right? So, oh, we haven't had whiskey yet, Tim. Uh, all, 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 all in good time. We'll oh, get all the camp God. chores done first. Oh, all right. To light it, uh, we put a base of, of hardwood on the bottom, and then the kindling on top. We used, uh, it, was it, what's it called, Insta Flame? No. What? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, uh, it's a fire starter. We cheated. We, we bought some fire starter. Shh. You can use birch or whatever if you want, and or lint for your dryer. And we got the, the starter in the front of the stove, not back here, because there's more auction in the front here, right? So eventually that's going to get going, and then it's going to go up through the chimney. Now this is your damper. Is it dampener or damper? Damper. Damper. And you want it up, so you don't want it closed like that, because then uh, you don't have the oxygen coming up, or you don't have the smoke shooting up. So you got to open it up right up. Now, throughout the night, if you want to let it burn a little bit slower to keep the heat in, you can close the dampener a bit and that will help. Or when you got this closed, you do the same thing with the dampener on the front. So if you want it to uh, do an all-nighter sort of thing, that got some good oak in there, just close it a bit and a little bit of oxygen goes in there, but not, not that much and just burns a lot longer. This is a must. This is where you put all your, your cutlery and things like that because we're gonna have a stew tonight. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, we cook on top of here. The other thing too is that we put wood underneath the, the, the legs and uh, that's really important because obviously it's going to get hot in here and the snow is going to melt and this thing is going to start sinking. So you want it on a base so you don't have a catastrophe happening. I don't know, it's really nice and snowing outside now and uh, Rob uh, obviously uh, talks way too much. I, <laughs> I just I can't take I him I have nothing anywhere. good to say. You know? His beard though is far better than Tim's. Look at, look, look at Tim's. Like, look, look at that. What is that? That's not even a beard. I don't even try, man. The guy's the master. You don't go up against the master. I mean, if, if you saw him with an axe, you'd say, wow, that's one sexy guy. <laughs> if I saw you with an axe, I'd run the other way. So did I miss anything about the stove? No. no? Awesome. We're having stew tonight. It's just taking a long time to cook. I put too much water in it. I should have put wine or beer. Usually I put beer, but we decided to drink that instead of putting in the stew. Uh, but yeah, we're um, putting a stew on. These guys are trying to fix a sled right now. It's like, they've been working at it for quite a while. Oh, we've been working for about 10 minutes. This oh, is going no, great, actually. It's like actually. two hours into it. This is going great. But uh, I'm using the woody uh, Dutch oven. It's an aluminum Dutch oven and a little bit light, lighter weight than the um, cast iron one. And uh, works really great. Lovely stew. We had some leftover vegetables for lunch, some tomato, some other green things, I'm not sure, and they just threw them in there. I think they ruined my stew. Don't trust these people with beards.